Hey guys, I thought I would show you the progress that's been made here. Um, the room's coming together. I think it's about 75% done. And um, I thought I would, I'm not gonna do a, a makeup collection video because I don't do those anymore, but I will open a few drawers just to um, show you how things are arranged. One of the biggest things I'm the most excited about is the nail polish rack. I've never had one before. Um, this is really a nice thing. I got it off of amazon.com and um, it was $38.99 and $5.99 shipping. And it holds about 110 bottles. So I'll put the information for that below. Um, I think the buyer is Beautycon. And I just really love this. This is really good. This holds most of my polishes. I probably only have about 15 more bottles than this. I tend to rotate um, out and kind of give away a lot of polishes. Uh, so that's some of the crown molding. And then over here, I can't wait to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be putting some pictures in there or something like that in the um, in that area and there's how it looks at the top. That's different from the last time you guys saw it, I think. Uh, so, and here, this is the box that I keep, uh, the things I'm gonna use for the chopping block. Um, and then there's just a couple palettes and this whole left side is all eyeshadow palettes and that's kind of why I wanted to open things up and get more storage. Um, I like to be able to see things and what was happening with um, just having these two uh, smaller Alex things is I wasn't able to like see all of my stuff. So if I don't see it, I don't use it. So that's why I wanted to, hey there buddy, what are you doing? Oh, the fir first one I'm going to just open up for you is the Urban Decay drawer. Um, these are all Urban Decay palettes and uh, yeah, one of my favorite brands for palettes. So I have all of those in there together. And um, so yeah, this is the kind of storage I wanted to be able to do to have everything be, you know, easier to see. Some more palettes. I saved room for that last Laura Mercier palette I picked up. I still have to swatch that one. But anyway, yeah, more palettes. And there's the Balm and Tarte palettes. And some Mally palettes. A lot of these are kind of new. These are the In the Buff palettes from Mally. A lot of these are kind of, um, you know, nude-like palettes. Except for their two, uh, those back two Mally ones. Those are pretty bright colors. It's the Smashbox Full Exposure palette behind the Mally ones. So yeah, that's what's in there. And I think this one I'm putting together still, I have a bunch of uh, Bare Minerals palettes I need to um, get out. I think I have some more duos, but I have all of my, uh, I'm gonna put all of my, once I'm done, put all of my uh, Bare Minerals, either duos, 4.0s, you know, quads or 8.0s um, all out in one drawer together so I can see them all. And I did them facing backwards so I can see the colors. And this drawer has all stuff I haven't opened up yet. <laughs> I need storage for that as well. Oh, I just opened that one up. Duh. All right, and this guy I think is so, so interesting. And um, I got a lot of questions on this when I put this up on um, Instagram. This is a 60 count uh, lip gloss uh, lipstick holder. It was only $12.50. I'll put the uh, name of the company and the item number in the description. Uh, for you, but I just love this thing. Now the only thing to know from this, and I'll show you from the side, is it does have that overhang. So what I have in this drawer is stuff I hardly ever use. <laughs> so that's how I kind of got around that. So I have a lot of my limited edition favorites. Um, I tend to wear a lipstick and then like a very similar corresponding um, gloss color. So this is kind of the perfect setup for me. And then all of my Riri, Mac Riri lipsticks that I picked up, you know, Riri Boy, that kind of thing, they're all there together. Together. And uh, yes, yeah, so these are more um, kind of duos, things that I wear together. And I also have, this is a Muji storage. I have a whole video on that. And um, I love those. Love Muji. Love Muji storage. Um, I'll, I'll put the link to their website down there too. And I still haven't figured out exactly what I want to put here. I don't know if... <sighs> I still haven't figured out if this is all the stuff I want on here. I think I want a little a, to make a few changes here. But this is my mom desk and um, what I've got in it so far. Um, this is where I keep the things I used most often. Um, you know, foundations, concealers, black liners, colored liners, um, and blushes. 
and that's a lot of blushes. I love blush. And then I have um, highlighters and bronzers at the end. So yeah, that's what's in there. And these are the things, again, like I said, that I use the most. I kind of have them in that first mom drawer. Really, really easily access accessible um i got another one again remember these are 12.50 um just so you know other lipstick brands fit in here these are like the maybelline vivids and then there's some revlon lipsticks in the back so a lot of things fit here fit in these the only thing i couldn't get to fit is the uh, mac mineralized lipsticks i tried to get those to fit but they're kind of you know a lot thicker um at, at the, the top is a lot thicker so they wouldn't fit but that's okay and i ordered something else for my um smaller you know for my um high-end lipsticks um, since and they haven't come yet they're coming from a different country so who knows when they'll be here um, I have a spinner this I got from QVC Laura I forget what her name is it's a spinner and um, I have a lot of uh, drugstore lipsticks there um, NYX CoverGirl Revlon and some OCC lip tars in that and more Muji storage. Uh, I have a lot of Mujis and these I just keep the individual eyeshadows. A lot of them, these are some individual eyeshadows from MAC. My favorites are extra dimension shadows. I love extra dimension shadows. So that's what I have in there. And these drawers I'm putting together, uh, still have. I got most of this together actually. This is the most popular drawer. I have a picture on Instagram and that's one of my most popular pictures on Instagram. This is the cream, the cream eye base drawer. <laughs> so there are a lot of color tattoos, uh, MAC paint pots, uh, which I love. And yeah, so a lot of those. Love them, love them, love them. And this I just figured out today. I don't know what I'm going to put behind here, but these are L'Oreal Infallibles because I love those as well. And I, the way they were stored before, I couldn't see them. They were on their side. So this way I can really see the colors and, you know, pick up what I want to use. Um, so very excited about that. And this I have to figure out what I'm going to put. Oh, that's, I didn't mean to. That's a, a lot of uh, Bare Minerals loose shadows. But these are the Wet n Wild um, palettes. And um, I don't know what I'm going to put next to those, but I have a couple boxes of things um, that I have to incorporate here. So I'll just incorporate something in with these. All right, guys. So um, as I said before, these are Alex's um, the, from Ikea. Alex and Mom are from Ikea. Uh, all of these and I'll put the information on these because I forget the name of the company, but they're twelve fifty each Which is really cool as well as I will put the information on the uh, Nail polish rack because that's a really cool deal I, I was expecting it to be a lot shipping wise so because it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's 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 heavy So uh, I was really excited that it was five ninety nine. All right guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye